So happy to be in Lake Village at Mark Welty Farms with Mark Welty, one of our finalists. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about the farm. You have such an interesting story. Well, started farming in 2010 after I graduated college. Uh, all rice that first year and uh, just kind of fell in love with it. Yeah, but you don't come out of a traditional farming background. You kind of came to this, even though you're a young farmer, uh, sort of late in life. Yeah, I had a finance degree from uh, University of Mississippi, and in, the, in 2010 really wasn't the best market for that, to find a job, and came back home, started working with my brother and my dad, and tried a little bit of farming and fell in love with it. I can't imagine another farm or another job being as rewarding as farming. I mean, you put everything you have into it and you get rewarded at the end. I mean, there's, there's just something about a connection with the land, with the dirt, just everything. It's, it's, it's hard to explain, really. One of the things every farmer needs is support, and you get that mostly through your family. Tell me about the family. Definitely. Uh, my mom and my dad here, they moved here roughly 25 years ago. Uh, wouldn't be in this without them, first off. And uh, my wife, Annie, and my son, Thomas, they're uh, I got a two-year-old and uh, another one on the way, and they're they're definitely my support at home. What does your wife make of all this? Uh, she uh, grew up in North Georgia, so uh, first time she ever came here, she asked where all the hills were. So she wasn't too familiar with the Delta, and uh, I guess over the last seven or eight years, she's she's really been a backbone, helping me, supporting me. She understands the stresses of planting season and harvest season and weather, and she's I couldn't do it without her. Well, first, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, it's an honor. He's, I, for years, said he's one of, the, one of the hardest working guys I've ever known. And I hope that our boys inherit that quality because um, it's an honor because he does all of this for us. Um, and that's a big deal. And we love you so much. And he's so deserving. And to be recognized for hard work is such an achievement. So. If it ends here, you've done a great job and you're a winner in my book. So I'm Thank proud you. of you. Love you. So, what would, uh, what, it, this is a, kind of an interesting question, but what advice would Mark Welty today give young Mark Welty who is just getting into farming? You don't think, you think you know everything and you don't know everything. You know, you think you come into this and you have a good crop one year and you say, well, this is easy. I've got this under control. This is easy. And it's not. You better, you better learn every year, listen to people, listen to people that's older than you, that's done this way longer than you, and learn, just always learn. The hope for the future is, are you happy with what you have now in terms of the size of your operation, and then more importantly, uh, the future of your sons perhaps being involved in what you're doing and being part of this family right. community that you have here. I'm happy with my acres now. You know, if something came up that was you know, that was close by, that was a good farm. I, I wouldn't mind taking it on, but I'm not actively looking for anything else. I got a while till I got to get some more acres for them. So uh, maybe 10, 15 years down the road, I'll try to find something else for them. You'd love to see them uh, yep. be involved in this. If, if, I, it's their choice, obviously, but I'd love for them to uh, be a part of it.